Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Walden, pastor at Cornerstone Ministries in Napa. I want to share a short Devo with you. Uh, the theme of this is about people that don't feel accepted, getting over the feeling of not being accepted. Um, different periods in my life and uh, in personally, and then uh, throughout pastoral ministries, I've met with a lot of people that, that often feel uh, that people don't accept them. They feel left out. They feel like they're not part of a group. Uh, they don't feel like people approve of them. Um, it's It may not even be a reality. Uh, people may approve of them, but but their feelings tell them different. And perhaps experience and history and family problems and self-esteem or whatever tell them that people don't approve of them. And so um, they spend a lot of time, a lot of energy, uh, cry a lot of tears, uh, trying to get people to approve of them, trying to change themselves, trying to fit in somehow, wondering what it's going to take for them to to be approved by their peer group or have some kind of peer group that they can identify with. Let me share some verses with you out of Ephesians chapter 1, uh, portions of verses 4 through 6. Let me read this to you. Uh, the Bible says that He, Jesus, chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. So Jesus chose you. He predestined us to adoption as sons. So we are chosen by God. We are adopted into his family. It says, to the praise of the glory of his grace, he made us accepted in the beloved. What Jesus accomplished on the cross by dying for our sins on the cross has made us accepted, accepted and acceptable to God the Father in heaven. It's really easy for us as humans to fall into the trap of wanting the esteem and recognition and approval of the humans around us. That's a slippery slope because there's always going to be people that don't approve of us. And uh, we're going to be trying real hard to get their approval. We'll wonder why, in our minds at least, they reject us, why they're not inviting us to maybe social events or outings or, or why we're not part of that group. And, and I'll tell you, I mean, I've lived this way and I've watched a lot of other people live this way. It's a hard way to live. Now, if you're a follower of Jesus, if you're a Christian, truth needs to trump our feelings. Truth needs to triumph over our emotions. And that's a battle of faith. Uh, faith is believing something even though your emotions tell you different. Now listen, if there's anybody that could, could disapprove of you, if there's anybody that really knows what you're like, all your faults and failures and all your history and all that, if there's anybody that exists, it's God. God knows about your history, he knows about your faults, knows about your, your past problems, your present problems, knows about your future problems. If there's anybody that could rightly say, hey, I, I disapprove of you because of who you are and how you fail, it would be God. But the Bible tells us God so loved the world that he gave his son, that whoever believes in him will have everlasting life. Not only that, if you will, have everlasting acceptance. Jesus has made you acceptable to God the Father in heaven. Now, we need to make a decision. If you're a follower of Jesus, you need to make a decision. Am I going to keep striving for the approval of man? And you're never going to get all the approval of everybody. It's just never going to happen. But you need to make the decision. Am I going to keep striving for the approval of man? Or am I going to accept who God made me to be, what God made me to be, and am I going to receive by faith the fact that he accepts me and he loves me? I just really want to encourage you. It's been a bit of a process for me over the years. But when you settle into this thing of knowing that God approves of you, loves you, has a purpose and a plan for your life, and has predestined you and has adopted you to be his son or daughter, when you settle into that, you get there by faith because faith needs to be stronger than our feelings. But when you choose not to act on your feelings of, of feeling to, uh, you know, pushed out and not a part of a crowd, it, when you choose to not act on those and when you choose to act by faith and saying, God, I'm feeling unaccepted right now, but you accept me. And when you pray through those things and believe through those emotions and that reality of God accepting you, when that becomes the greater reality, I'm telling you, it's a foundation and a bedrock uh, from which we can live our lives with a lot of freedom. I, you know, I confess it's been a, a process and a journey for me. And I know it's a process and a journey for a lot of you, but it's a, it's a fight worth fighting. 
So fight hard, fellow brother, fellow sister, fight hard. Believe the truth about what Jesus said about you. God in heaven accepts you because of what Christ has done. Rest in that. Rejoice in that. Live in that. And from that place of acceptance, launch out into the world. Not everybody's going to accept you, but when you know you have God's favor upon your life, you can deal with it much better. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much.